Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to start a program or a process and have it run in the background so it doesn't show up in the taskbar here. So let's say you wanted to run a specific program and you shared a computer, you didn't want anyone else to know it was running or you know, so they can't close it, that type of thing. So it's going to be a PowerShell command here. So all you need to do is just create a uh, PowerShell command in Notepad and save it as .ps1. So here's the command process equals start process file path. Then this obviously you change to the path and executable name for what you want to run. And then Windows style hidden pass through. And once you do that, like I said, just save it as .ps1 instead of .txt. And then you'll have it. So then from there, all you need to do is right click it and run with PowerShell. But if it doesn't run, uh, then you could try running it you know, in a PowerShell window, and then you'll, you'll probably see an error message about uh, not having the right execution policy. So for that, you could run this command to get the execution policy to see what your execution policy is. So right now, mine's unrestricted because I ran this command here to unrestrict it. So if you want to just, you know, just remove all restrictions, uh, you could just run this, and then everything will be unrestricted. And then from there, all you have to do is run uh, period slash and then file name there if you want to run it in the window. And then also, like I said, once you run this execution policy to unrestrict it here, then all you need to do is right click on it, run with PowerShell. So right now I have Task Manager open here. So let's uh, get this out of the way here. It's nothing about WordPad. That's what that write.exe is, by the way. So we're going to run with PowerShell. And now you can see that WordPad is running in the background there, and it's not down here in the taskbar. So like I said, you know, it's hard to say when this will come in handy, but if, if you do have a need for it, that's one way to do it. So I will put this in the description here. I'll put this in here as well, and then you can just change it to match what you need and then see how it works for you. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe. Thank you.